This video contains or may contain spoilers for Hollow Knight. What happened to the five great knights of Hollow Nest? They're not all together like we see them depicted in the White Defender's Dream. So, what happened to each one of them during or after the fall of Hollow Nest? How much do we know about the fate of each one? I'll be going over evidence we can observe in the game as well as my speculations as to what we don't know in order from the great knight that we know the most about to the least about. The one we know the most about and see the most is, of course, Ogrim, aka the Dung Defender or the White Defender in his dream form. Obviously he has been spared from the infection, how so we can't be sure. It's not exactly clear why Ogrim went away from the Pale Court and into the waterways, or if he knows what happened to the Pale King or the other five great knights. It's possible that when the second wave of the infection hit, he took to the waterways to protect the space, especially Isma's Grove, from infected bugs. This is what he's doing when the knight approaches him, as he later says that he mistook the knight for an infected husk. Strangely, Ogrim talks about Isma as though she's still alive, but talks about the Pale Court in past tense. This makes it seem like the Pale Court disbanded once the infection returned, and the knights went their separate ways. In his dream, Ogrim expresses hope that the kingdom will return to its former glory. This suggests that he doesn't know that the Pale King ran off with his palace, let alone died, or that the rest of the five great knights either died or disappeared. When he is defeated in his dream five times, Ogrim disappears and is not seen anywhere in the game again other than Godholm. I don't think he would leave Hallownest, so it is possible that he died somehow, or sort of disappeared into the dream realm similar to the seer or another of the knights, Zemer. We meet Zemer as the Grey Mourner. She's isolated herself in her house in the resting grounds, mourning her lost lover who was a member of the Mantis tribe and, as such, was not allowed to be with Zemer because she was an outsider. At some point, her lover died, although we don't know how she died or how Zemer knew that she had died since the two were forced apart. In her house, we can see her nail from when she was a knight, cracked and worn with age, suggesting that she has not fought with it in a long time. She wants a gift delivered to her lover's grave, but she can't do it herself possibly because her grief has caused her to become disabled somehow, or she can't bear to see the grave herself now. When the knight successfully delivers a delicate flower to her lover's grave, Zemer is finally at peace and disappears, leaving behind a mask shard. Assuming she didn't quite literally transform into that mask shard, she probably moved on to the dream realm or the afterlife to reunite with her lover. Interestingly, she doesn't have to die in order for this to happen, suggesting that she was either already dead or had some kind of special ability. The only other NPC we see this with directly is the Seer, who we know has a connection with the dream realm since she is a member of the Moth tribe and thus it comes to her naturally. It is entirely possible that Zemer had a similar ability. At the very least, she is at peace once her final request is granted. The next knight to mention is Drya. Her corpse is outside the White Lady's hut in Queen's Gardens, surrounded by several corpses of mantis traders. It seems obvious that Drya successfully defeated a horde of traitors, but in doing so was killed herself, similar to what happens to Cloth if she joins the knight's fight against the traitor lord. When her corpse is dream-nailed, we get the word protect, and the white lady mentions that Drya has stood guard over her for a long time. 
It's possible that when the white lady went into hiding, she knew about the mantis traders and wanted a knight to protect her from them. Or she either didn't know about them, or they hadn't invaded her gardens yet at the time, and she just wanted a guard in case some danger came along. Ever the loyal knight, Drya stayed with her until the very end. Another knight who died, but whose death we don't know as much about, is Isma. Her corpse is found in her grove, with plants grown over it. It seems unlikely that these plants were what killed her, though. When her corpse is dream-nailed, we get the line, Ogrim, there's no time. No time for what? And why? Did she know she was going to die? It's possible that the cause of her death was the infection, and that she knew she couldn't fight it off forever. She probably wanted to tell Ogrim this, but never got to. The no time part may be connected to the dream nail dialogue Ogram had when he was sleeping prior to the Hidden Dreams update, Isma, so strong, teach me. This suggests that Ogram wanted Isma to teach him something, probably how to be as strong as she was in combat, but at this point she knew that her end would be coming sooner than she could accomplish this. The plants most likely grew around Isma's corpse after she died. What's most interesting is her leaving behind the item known as Isma's Tear. It's described as a fruit formed from a single hardened tear. If this thing really did transform from a tear to a fruit, that suggests that Isma may have had some ability to control plants, possibly subconsciously. She probably shed this tear because she knew she was running out of time, and it saddened her. Eating the fruit grants immunity to acid, but it's unknown if she meant for the tear to become a fruit at all, let alone one that does this. If so, was it intended for anyone in particular? Ogrim, perhaps? Or did Isma think that a savior like the knight would come to Hallownest and she wanted to help them in some way? Like many things in this game, we can't know for sure. Finally, there's Hegemol, the great knight whose fate we know the very least about. We know what happened to his armor and that it was stolen by the maggot who becomes the false knight, but we don't know what happened to the bug himself. We don't even know what he looked like under his armor. The only hint we get is the statue Shio is making of him, which looks slightly different than the armor. Since we never meet any bug in-game who we know to be Hegemol, it's possible that he died, even though we don't find a corpse like with Drya and Isma. As for how he might have died, it's entirely possible that the maggot who stole his shell killed him. The maggot claims that he was not driven by madness when he stole the shell, implying that he was not infected when he did so. However, when the knight fights him as the false knight, he is infected, and we know that the infection can turn bugs violent who wouldn't be otherwise. As for how else Hegemol could have died, my only other guesses are the infection, like with Isma or being unprotected from danger without his armor. Team Cherry have even hinted at this. If he did go anywhere after his shell was stolen, I have no guesses as to where. So, what do you think of my theories? Do you have any of your own that I didn't discuss in this video? Let me know in the comments if so. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you found it interesting, and subscribe to my channel for more videos about Hollow Knight and other media. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.